Hello and welcome to the next episode of Euro Truck, Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is episode 23. Right, first we need to allocate the uh, point, the skill point. So let's do that now. That's between 1 to 6. Let's see what we get. Number 1, okay. So that means we now need to decide which of those six we're going to allocate it to. Two are already taken. Um, so it's going to be between numbers one to four. So give me one second. One to four. And it is number four. Well, that means, that means we've got four, five, and six all taken. Okay. And now it's the destination or not the destination, sorry, the company that we're going to be heading to, to pick up from. Um, I've just counted, just before I started filming, there are six companies in Algecras, Alge whatever it, the place is called, where, where we're currently located in. Um, and it is number three. Okay, so let's go and have a look to see what that company is. Right, let's start by allocating the skill point. So that was to this one here, whatever that is. Um, okay, that's that done. Um, and then it was, I think it was <laughs> forgotten, but I think, I think it was company number three, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. Let me just, yeah, company number three. Um, which is this one. Does it go on to the second page? No. Uh, that one's, oh, that one's expiring soon. Okay. So we won't worry about it now. Let's just not waste any time and just click on one of these and make our way to that company and see what's available once we get there. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he said okay as well. Um, right, so it's a twenty one minute journey to get there. We should be able to get there before those jobs expire. I know one of them was like 25 minutes, I think. So we should make it just in time. Not that it really matters because if that one disappears, the number one will, will reappear and it might be a lot more interesting. <laughs> I know one of them was to Far Faro, Faro, Portugal. That one is definitely going to be there. Um, the other two were somewhere in Spain. I wouldn't shed a tear if they disappear, to be honest.
at least we get to see a different part of the city here um, because where we were, were located it was just an industrial estate which wasn't very interesting It's like we're at the port. So I think you can get ferries from here to over to Africa. I know you can get one to, uh, in real life I'm talking about, I know you can get one to, I can't remember the name of the place, it's the Spanish place in Africa, in North Africa. But unfortunately on this game, um, this is not an active port, you can't actually go anywhere, you can't get to, over to Africa from here. Right then, let's have a look, see what's available. Have I made it in time for that other job? Is it gone? Was it a Salamanca? I think it was. Um, yeah, it's still there. I've got five minutes left. Um, so, what are the options? Faro, 412 kilometers back to Portugal. Salamanca. I mean, it's. I've done that route. Seville, it's a very close one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do I want? What don't I want? Not sure. <laughs> I just accept whatever. Right, so it's between one to three. Let's just mix this up for us to start with. Okay. Let's see where we're going. Number one, we're going back to Portugal. Okay, but to a different part, Far Faro. I'm up, I'm up for that, I don't mind. Let's do it. Okay, let's accept the Faro job. 
There it is. Not too far at all. Time to get the job done. So again, yeah, we've got a very red looking number plate there. That must be how it is in Spain for uh, for lorries, trucks. Um, okay, let's just quickly check the route. Seems like I'm forever going to be stuck in, um, in Iberia. So we're backtracking, but then we get turning off to head to Portugal. Um, okay, fine, I'm okay with that, let's do it. So I'll talk about my experience then in our destination city today, which is Faro. Um, so I have been there before. Actually, I have mentioned that in a previous uh, episode. It's been a long time since I've actually been to one of our destination cities. I what the last one was that I actually had been to. Oh, it been a long time ago, before Spain, before we ever entered Spain. It's probably Oh, let me think, what was it? It's probably Inns Innsbruck, I reckon, for ages ago. Um, so yeah, Faro. I flew into Faro. Um, had dinner in a restaurant not far from the hotel after we'd rented a car. In a kind of residential area. We didn't stay there, didn't stay in Faro, but we did visit the city on one occasion. Had lunch there. It was a bit quiet around the city. It wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't seem that interesting, to be honest. Um, and yeah, that's my experience in Faro. <laughs> At the ramp, take the second exit. So in this video I'm going to be um, testing something new, I think I've noticed that when I have my microphone on there's a lot of background noise from the engine when I speak, so I think I'm going to try to speak less, keep my microphone off and only speak if I really feel it necessary. So I'm going to turn my microphone off now and hopefully that will make a difference to the sound in a, in a positive way. We'll see.
managed to get across there. It was a, a tricky one, that. Almost missed that turn, it? That was unusual. So this is where we now go on to a different road that we haven't been on unexplored road, but I have actually explored this road in real life. When I drove from, well, the Algarve in Portugal to um, Seville and back. So this must be this road we're coming on to now. So I did retell this story a number of episodes back. I was driving along this road in real life, this particular motorway, um, in my rental, Portuguese rental car. And I was being flashed by a lorry on various vehicles. One lorry driver was being like very kind of aggressive towards me, wasn't letting me pass him. Turns out, I found out later that I had my uh, my lights on my what you call them, the big light, you know the I can't remember what you call them, but the um, the lights you're only supposed to use when there's <laughs> no cars around, no traffic around. I didn't I didn't realize I had them on. I still wasn't familiar with the car. It was a rental car. Um, so now, I, yeah, then I understood why everybody was pissed off. Is that Portugal? I saw a sign saying Portugal. I didn't see the EU sign. It must be this bridge that um, 
Oh, there's one of those photo points here. I'm going to have to stop and take a photo. Just a minute. To stop illegally. To stop just about here. <laughs> Randomly. Okay. Right. Get my camera out. It's an international bridge. Yeah, this is what separates Spain and Portugal. Should we get that picture in with my with my truck? Yeah, why not? Lovely. Look at that. Sorry, guys. I'll take a picture. I personally don't actually remember this bridge. It must have been there. <laughs> it must be made up, but yeah, I don't remember. It was a number of years ago now when I did this journey. Yeah, we're in Portugal. We're also in the Algarve part of Portugal as well. So I remember on the right hand side, yeah. You had to stop. Oh, I remember this. This is what I, was, I mentioned this in the early episode. Yeah, like foreign cars, registered cars, would stop there on the right and have to pay to use the roads in Portugal. And I didn't stop because I had a um, Portuguese registered rental car, so I assumed everything was covered. I didn't receive any fines in the post or anything, so. I think I was all right. But yeah, that was realistic. That's what it was like in real life. nice I haven't seen that before on the game where there's like a automatic toll with those cameras it's pretty cool So we've got more cameras here. So, yeah, what's interesting then, um, when we did the other part of Portugal, they actually had like proper boobs where you had to stop and pay. Um, but on this road, they don't have it. And I remember when I was driving in Portugal along this road, yeah, we, I certainly didn't have to stop at any booth. There was nothing like that. You could say, like a pay toll, toll, what do you call them? Thing. So I like the fact this is all automatic, although I don't like the fact you have to pay. In Spain, we weren't paying for using the roads. So I'm guessing there must be a lot of companies in Faro because 
a lot of you know, all of these jobs I've been doing recently, Farrow's always been on the on the menu, you should say. I've seen it crop up a lot, so it's only a matter of time before we're actually gonna come here. Roundabout, take the first exit. Straight on. That super bock beer, by any chance. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. I want to get petrol, so I'm going to actually pull in here for petrol, I think. Let me just check how am I doing for turning. Not the easiest turn in the world. I'm not sure if that's. Oh, seems quite high. I'm sure I was paying less than that before. I can't remember. It's going to turn. Again, I'll just use this to help me. I think I'm going to be okay. Ooh. It's a bit tight. But it looks like we're into another one of these kind of big parks that have loads of companies in it. I might be wrong. Looks that way. Oh no, it's oh yeah, it gets like that, yeah, it is. There's all different companies here. What do you mean turn right? Is this the one? Turn left. Here we are. Safe and sound.
That was a really easy one to park into. There's loads of space ahead of me. Right then, let's see where we can sleep first of all. Quick look at the map, see what we've done overall. So we covered a, a fair bit of Iberia now. Um, and all of this as well. Anyway, let's see where we can sleep. So there are a lot of companies here. Bloody hell, there's uh, fair loads. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Um, looks like we can't sleep around here. Bloody hell. Sorry. Is there nowhere to sleep here? That's a different city. That's mental. Are you serious? There's actually nowhere to sleep. I've never heard of that before. I don't think there is. Let me just double check. Am I missing something here? <laughs> uh, there's a petrol station, obviously. I've been there. And it looks like that's all there is. I can't believe that, because that's a different city. Um, okay. So maybe I'll just take a job on and just go for a sleep <laughs> as I'm on the journey. That's weird. Let's just check. I mean, I zoom out. Doesn't look like there is anywhere to sleep, is there? In the whole city. That's really weird. I'm going to take one more look. I just I can't believe this. Is it being blocked by the letters here? Europe car. The yeah, nearest one is there. It's not actually that far, it's just it's a different city. <laughs> I could go there. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go there and just take a job on from Faro next time. Not this place. Yeah, go on then. Let's do it. Let's, Let's go. go. Turn left. Right. I'm not sure if you want to do a job starting off from uh, being tired. Uh, let's just wait. <laughs> to be honest, if it wasn't a di if it wasn't a different city, I wouldn't have thought anything of it. Okay, there it is. Whatever, 13 kilometres away. So be it. It's only because it was a different city that kind of put me off. Around here. Oh, 
Vamos a mefar. second exit. A viewpoint there. I didn't know that. Let's have a look. Must be that interesting building there. Check it out. So, what is that? The city of Ohio. Hmm. Why have they done this? Like, what's so special about this place? I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm just coming here to park and sleep. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Fair enough. I quite well enjoyed that. This seems a bit random though. Mind you, it was nicer than the, the port of Dover viewpoint. I'm finally going to get somewhere to sleep. There we go. Going straight. Come on. Open sesame. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Thank you for watching.